indeed, times have changed in the NBA All-Star Game. It used to be players would just roll into town, they'd throw up the ball and play the game. Now there's hoopla and press conferences. Here they're waiting for some of the stars to show up. And there's a new generation showing up this year, like Terry Cummings from Milwaukee. They are all capable, confident, and dominant. Like Houston's Akeem the Dream Elijahwan. And from Phoenix, Larry Nance. He has to give up a childhood hero to do his job. I'll be guarding Doc probably, so that used to be my hero, but now that I'm guarding him, I can't keep that same attitude about him. I'll be nervous, I know that. I'm not even going to worry about scoring, just to be out there and try to contribute in other ways. Just being on the team is, uh, I've made my mark. I think that when I step on the court to play, that it will take care of itself. And now the 1985 NBA Eastern Conference All-Stars, the honorary captain, three-time All-Star Game MVP, and native of Indianapolis, Hall of Fame guard, Oscar Robertson. In his first NBA All-Star appearance, 6'9 forward from the Milwaukee Bucks, number 34, Terry Cummings. Shot and Kareem to Nixon, his former teammate now with the Clippers. Nixon to Gervin. Cummings defends well. Good defense by Cummings inside. The East by one with three and a half minutes to go in the first period. Here is Terry Cummings. Kareem again. 110 remaining, first period. King. Moncrief guarded by Blackman, doubled by Alex English. Bernard King. He's missed two close ones. Cummings. Cummings again, and that's the element that the Milwaukee Bucks have parlayed into a lead in the Central Division of the NBA. You know, for two years down there in uh, San Diego, he got lost because his team wasn't doing well, but everybody in the NBA knew he was a great player, Terry Cummings. That was a great trade for Milwaukee. Blackman to Nance, good speed, and those 35 seconds to go in the first period, the West leading by three. Cummings gets his own rebound. No one's moving on the court right now. Three-point attempt. Michael Ray Richardson sick but clears with 20 seconds to go. He wants his players to stay sharp. That's a big one for the Celtics. Alley open and almost made a tough play on the feed from Nixon. Michael Ray, baseline to Cummings, and they call the foul inside. The East is claiming should be goaltending too. And it is. He tapped it on the glass. Moses Malone, Julius Irving. The Philadelphia 76ers trail Boston by a game and a half. I'll tell you, Terry Cummings is an awesome power forward. He's got all the skills of a small man. He can put the ball on the floor. What makes him remarkable is his dribbling ability. He can get through traffic and still go up strong. Don Nelson said Terry's the most gifted player he's ever coached, and he has coached some really good ones. Alex English turn around from the baseline. Here comes the East again, trying to break a 40-40 tie, and Cummings goes to the hoop. A little bit too hard off the glass. Elijah Wan, and Moses taught Elijah Wan to be hungry for the rebounds and the block shots. He's been a hungry rookie. Harris. Coming out of the crowd, Nat to Nixon. Three on three. Norm Nixon, 18 points for Larry Bird. He is the game's high scorer right now. Terry Cummings gets off the east bench. Irving on Sampson. Foul, basket good. And Pat Riley has the east team up 82 to 77, and Bernard King and Terry Cummings both return, and the doctor and Larry Bird go out. That's his third lineup for the East All-Stars. How would you like to take Julius Irving and Larry Bird out of the game and come in with Bernard King and Terry Cummings? <laughs> 515 remaining in the third period. The West leads 83-77. And that's a defense I was mentioning about Sampson getting out there with those quick feet. Double on Ralph. Sampson of the Rockets. Nixon. There's Norm Nixon. He has eight points in the ball game now. You'll have to give some time or some place when you're going to double down, and Nixon's the wrong guy to leave out there on top all along. 440 remaining. Terry Cummings hits. So Terry Cummings, who played his college ball at DePaul and is just about back home playing in Milwaukee for Don Nelson. 
And red hot is Norm Nixon, who has 10 points in the ball game. It's been a while. First weekend of March. Loose ball. Here's Norm Nixon behind the back to Samson who went up without the ball. You know, Harry Lou Retton's dad is Ronnie Retton, who played with Jerry West at West Virginia. Serving on the loose exchange, and it's an eight, nine-point lead. He scored 50 in two straight games. And you know what? Yesterday he says, you know, we're still driving for the playoffs. You know, you look at New York, 18 and 33, but uh, I don't. Players don't give up. Not a type of uh, Bernard King out there. 142 remaining in the third period. Bow, bow. Cummings misses outside. Yeah, King over yeah, the top yeah. called for the loose ball foul. Well, the East is not getting the inside game. They have uh, Lambeer in there now, who's more of an outside center than anything else. And Cummings is having his trouble developing an inside game with the likes of Samson Donnie. Well, of course, we saw them against Philadelphia last week, and if they stay healthy, you know, they are indeed a sleeping giant. I tell you, he's become the leader of the Nets, Michael Ray, for exactly the same reasons that uh, Magic and Isaiah are the leaders of their team. Ten-point lead. The East's biggest margin was six, early 22 to 16. The West been the dominant team in this game. We still have at least one more period to go. Is coming on a feed, gets inside. Well, that's what they need more of, the East, inside play. Physical teams of the East against the finesse teams of the West. Gervin. Well, right now, the East is so concerned, Dick, of stopping those big people that they're allowing people to come right up the cut. Under a minute to play. Here's Terry coming. King is there. Again, and with 44 seconds to play, 97 to 89, eight point lead, which really is meaningless in a game like this with all of the talent. Gervin, Cummings, it comes the East. Michael Ray Richardson has Moncrief and King. And King has called for a charging foul. Well, they got Sampson had fouled Terry Cummings. And Cummings made the second of two free throws, and so the score is 97-92. to You're looking at the leading scores, Gervin of the West and Larry Bird, who's back in the ballgame as we start the fourth period. But he is an excellent inside-outside player. Great defense, hits the boards, and handles the ball. Well. Makes the first free throw. Cummings is coming in, replacing Julius Irving. More power now. More power on the boards. That's what they want. They want to make sure that Sampson and... Uh, Kareem, don't control that offensive board. Well, now the, the East really has a power team in there with with Parrish, Malone, and Cummings up front. Plus Bernard will probably be the big guard. Orlando Blockman. And Moses Malone gets the outlet pass to Terry Cummings, filling the lane as Bernard King. Cummings will pull up, and it's 118 to 111. Seven-point lead. And here comes the East again, down by seven. Harris. And the basket counts and a foul. Terry Cummings. And the East has cut the West lead to five. The wide bodies are doing it now, Dick. They're starting to fast break and control the boards. But an unusual matchup. Terry Cummings is guarding Rolando Blackman up the other end. That's going to put him on the boards against the guard, which will be a lot of help. Kareem push up the ball and sneak in a couple of easy ones to break the game open. Samson keeps it alive on the mixed miss free throw. Here's the alley to Terrell from Magic Johnson, who did a little dance at center court. And the West with a big basket, 127-118. And a nine-point lead. Cummings coming right back. Ralph Sampson oh, battling no. inside. Oh, no. And a foul finally. You know, I watched. He wants Ralph to show the real finesse skills. He was the rookie of the year last year as a center. Now he's a, a forward. Under four minutes to play. 128, 119. Terry Cummings working against Sampson. And shoots over him. Sampson's 7 4 frame is pretty huge indeed. Going for three. A lot of bird. And it's going to be a real advantage to West with Sampson being guarded by uh, any number of smaller players. And a big basket by Rolando Blackman. And it's an 11-point game. Matches the biggest. It was tied at 68 at the half. The West has had the lead the entire second half. Cummings coming right back. 
King gets it back to Cummings. Three on two, East. They kick it away. And with 2.13 to go, there's a baseball pass from Magic to Rolando Blockman. And the biggest lead of the ball game right now, 13 points for the West and a timeout. Is... And a loose ball, Nixon gets it. They have 11 on the shot clock. This is going to be a West victory, and it's going to be a satisfying one as well. The East has won five in a row, and that was the longest streak. Magic Johnson at the line. West Magic Johnson will go to the line. And you're looking at the East bench. Larry Bird got a bloody nose for his efforts today.